Welcome back to the Kernel Talk channel and as a homage to the International Women's Day, I will talk about iconic ladies watches through history. Stay tuned. And even though the majority or probably all of the followers of the channel are men, if you are a truly watch enthusiast, you probably know most of the famous ladies watches through history. And in this video, I chose 10 ladies watches that were iconic through history. This is not actually a list. There is no better or more important. They are not in a certain order or specific order. And you also notice that most of them are quartz watches because they are more practical and since the invention of the quartz watch the manufacturers realize that they are much more practical for for women basically because they require less use of the crown because a mechanical watch you have to manipulate the crown much more often and if you think that usually ladies watches are smaller than men watches the crown is also smaller and they are very impractical to manipulate with longer nails so it's actually a pain for a, for a, for a lady to manipulate much often they can even damage the nails and etc this is not a stereotype but it's a it's a practical thing and manufacturers realize that that's why most of the of the watches that already existed before the quartz watches they turn it into quartz uh, models because they are much more practical. And even though, as I said, this is not a, a list in a certain, in a specific order of importance, but the first one that I like to talk about is much probably the most important of all because it was considered the first wristwatch in history. And this comes into play another thing that is very common in the watchmaking industry that is a controversy of who was the first to do something. And even though the Guinness Book of Records mentioned that the first wristwatch in history was a Patek Philippe made in 1868 to the Countess Koskovics of Hungary, this is actually considered the first Swiss wristwatch. But in the entire history, the first watch that is known as a wristwatch was a Breguet made for the Queen Caroline Murat from Naples in 1810 and much likely this is not considered the first Swiss wristwatch because even though Abraham Louis Breguet was a Swiss watchmaker he moved to France and much probably this watch was designed and made in France but that Breguet is regarded as the first wristwatch in history second on the list is the classic Cartier tank it was designed in 1917 by Louis Cartier and was put into production two years later in 1919 another version of there is very popular is the Must de Cartier which is actually a tank that was made to be more affordable it was launched right on the quartz crisis and was one of the examples of the industry reaction to the quartz crisis uh, the way that Cartier made into this crisis to make the, the the watches more affordable to keep in the market was to instead of using gold to make those watches they were usually gold plated most of them are actually silver that is gold plated so it's still a noble material that looks like gold so they were a solution to the to the quartz crisis it was was one of the smartest moves uh, that a company made during that era and of course there are, there's also uh, a lot of other Cartier that are very famous as ladies watches like the Panther and the Ballon Bleu and the third watch in this list is a much more modern watch that also actually resembles the Cartier tank which is the Patek 24 it also became one of the best sellers of Patek. It also became one of the best sellers from Patek Philippe, but it also have a very distinctive appearance. 
Fourth on this list is the Chopard Happy Diamonds. It's also one very popular uh, ladies watch, one of the most popular watches from Chopard. And uh, it have a distinctive characteristic of having like a, a double crystal. It have two layers of crystal with small diamonds between the, the crystals that can move around as you shake the watch. They also have a, a more sportier version, which is the Happy Sport with rubber strap but it's the same characteristic with the with the diamonds that dance around uh below the crystal five on this list is the Brigitte rain de naples or rain de naples which is uh, a homage to the first wristwatch in history the watch made by Brigitte to the queen of naples it have a very distinctive case shape which is which is a novel shape they come into a lot of different variations and they are all mechanical they are either automatic or hand wound six on this list is the classic relax date just even though it doesn't born as a ladies watch it is actually a contraction of a of a gents watch which is the rolex date and date just but they carry all the famous characteristics of the rolex they are very robust watches and very accurate and they are more than uh more than a jewelry they are more like an everyday ladies watch it's a watch that you can wear every day it's waterproof is much more robust than the the classic ladies watch that there is much more like a jewelry and usually not as robust as a rolex seven on this list is the bulgari serpenti it is also a modern watch of course that bulgari like other brands that are originally jewelers they have a lot of ladies watches in their in their collection and the Serpenti uses a bracelet that is actually like a spring, like the old Bulgari Tubogas, which was a Bulgari Bulgari model that have the, the bracelet is it have a spring, a steel spring inside that can you can open it up and fit on your wrist. And the, the Serpenti uses the same idea, but instead the case of the watch have the shape of a, the head of, of a snake of a Serpenti. And the bracelet is like a spiral that is like a spring. It comes in steel or gold with diamonds and mother of pearl dials. And they even now have versions that are made of ceramics. In eighth place came the Omega Constellation launched in 1994, also known as the Cindy Crawford Constellation. And this is because back in that time omega used the famous model on their advertising and this this association with the with a very famous back in those days cindy crawford was one of the highest paid model on the on the fashion industry and association its image with the constellation made it a huge success it was easily one of the most sold out models uh, for Omega back in those days. The funny thing is that originally the constellation was supposed to be a chronometer, but back in the early 80s, it was redesigned as a much more design watch. And then it became the famous constellation Manhattan. And this constellation Cindy Crawford was actually a modernization of this classic uh, design. In 90 place, another Omega, which was very famous during the 1960s, which was the Omega Safet. It was a hand-wound watch, a very small watch, with the bracelet integrated into the case. And uh, the most distinguishable characteristic was the crystal that was made of sapphire and was all faceted by the inside, giving a, a very special look to the dial. It looked actually like a, like the, the, like a diamond looking uh, from the top. They were, they were all made of, of gold, be it yellow gold or white gold. And the tenth and last in this list is the Chanel J12. This is also a more or less modern watch, but it's very popular between ladies. And it, it's very distinguishable because it's made of ceramics, either black or white. Some models use a very dark gray ceramics and it's also a very they use in some models a very high-tech ceramics which is 
uh, mixed with titanium is a kind of a titanium ceramic which mixes the, the hardness of the classic ceramic with the lightness of the titanium. They are very well made watches. I know that, that Chanel is not a very popular brand between men and we, we usually don't even remember them as watchmakers as well but the the J12 is a is one of the classic Chanel watches and it's a, it's a, it's certainly one of the most popular ladies watches around and that's it hope you like it hope you maybe learn some models that you didn't know before and maybe you can refer to this list uh, if you want to give a, a gift for your wife or any other lady in your family, if you choose one of those watches, you are certainly giving her a very special gift and maybe who knows planting the, you know, the watch bug in her. So that's it. Hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to click on the subscribe in case you didn't yet and stay tuned.